I just want to say a few words today about what I see as the priorities in the months and years ahead. There are three that I want to identify. I touched on them at the meeting of the Global Tamil Forum that I addressed. And one of the things that it's important to say is that I give the same message to you today, a mixed audience, that I gave to the Global Tamil Forum. It's very important, especially in the modern age, that we give consistent messages, whatever the audience. The first priority concerns the renunciation of violence. It's through politics that social and economic and political change occurs, not through violence. Violence doesn't serve any of the communities in Sri Lanka. The second issue concerns the human, the social, economic, political rights of all Sri Lankans on an equal basis. Many of you will be concerned about the violence in the run-up to and after the election, the recent presidential election, and also the restrictions on media freedom. It's vital that we understand that a democracy, a healthy democracy, thrives not just through elections, but also through independent reporting of them, an independent judiciary, and an open society. The second set of rights are about the development of, a, of constitutional norms and a constitutional order that respects the equal rights of all of Sri Lanka's citizens. This is a challenging issue in any country, but respect for minority rights is an absolutely vital part of the values that are essential to a civilized society. As you know, the European Union wants to have an open and engaged trading relationship with Sri Lanka, but we were forced to suspend the GSP plus provisions because of the absence of key human rights that have been raised by the European Commission. And I very much hope that in this period, the Sri Lankan government will urgently address them.